Hello guys, so today I would like to talk to you about how a maritime injury lawyer. Have you been injured in a maritime accident off the coast of Houston, Texas? You may be entitled to a substantial monetary settlement or award. However, offshore accident claims can be complicated. Let the experienced Houston maritime injury lawyers at Anthony Bryan White Personal Injury Lawyers help you fight for the compensation you need. We are known for being relentless and doing whatever it takes to help maritime injury victims get the money they deserve. Let us put more than 45 years of collective experience to work with you. We handle all maritime injury cases in Houston CX. Houston, unlike most other major urban areas in Texas, is a coastal city. So the water plays a large role in Houston's economy and culture. The port of Houston is one of the busiest seaports in the world. Every day, hundreds if not thousands of commercial and personal watercraft use dock, Gulf of St. Bay. Trinity Bay, the East Bay, and the Gulf of Mexico to get to and from docks in Houston. Not all of these trips are uneventful. Accidents happen on and around the water all the time. These are known as maritime accidents, meaning of or having to do with the sea. At Avenue Bryan White Personal Injury Lawyers, our maritime attorneys represent clients who have suffered injuries in maritime accidents that include personal watercraft accidents, cruise ship accidents, military naval accidents, boat accidents, subboard accidents, tanker accidents, cargo ship accidents, shipyard accidents, deck accidents, slips and falls, explosions and fires, taxes. Tanker accidents, commercial fishing accidents, offshore drilling and rig accidents, and the last one is jack up rig accidents and more. It doesn't matter whether you are a worker who was injured while working on a dock or out on the high seas, or if you got hurt while enjoying some recreational time out on the water. Our personal injury lawyers in Houston are here to help. We will carefully investigate your case determine all possible causes of legal action and help you fight to get the money you deserve. Your first consultation is free, so contact our Hassan Law Firm a call today to learn more. Why should I hire an, an attorney for help with my maritime injury case? Accidents don't just happen on dry land, they also happen on docks, in shipyards and up at sea. When they do, injury claims can be challenging. Does your case fall under state or federal jurisdiction? The United States American law governs your case. If you were working, are you entitled to maintenance and fill the maritime equivalent of workers' compensation? These are all important questions. In order to get the answer you need, it's important to enlist the help of a qualified and experienced Houston American injury lawyer. At Anthony Bryan, while personal injury lawyers are experienced lawyers understand how physically and emotionally devastating medicine injuries can be. We also know how much of an impact money can make in the, in the weeks, months, and years that follow. We can trust that we will draw on our considerable experience and vast financial resources to help you in your time of need. When you hire us to handle your maritime injury case, you can expect us to investigate. We can be your best advocate unless we know what caused your accident, why you get hurt, and who is responsible. So we will roll up our sleeves and scrutinize your maritime accident from every possible angle. We will gather evidence, interview witnesses, subpoena documents, and consult with experts. We will do whatever it takes to answer these fundamental questions so that we can build the strongest possible claim on your behalf. Research maritime law is complex. Depending on the circumstances of your case, one or, one or maritime law might apply to your case. This includes the Jones Act, Longshore Act, Outer Continental Shelf Lands Act, OCSLA, Live on the High Seas Act, 
long-term and, and hybrid workers' compensation act, and the last one is limitation of liability act. There are also more general maritime laws that might be applicable. A single carefully will be that specific of your case to determine which laws apply and how those laws can be used to help you recover the compensation to which you're entitled. A detailed approach can help to ensure that you are fully compensated for all of your maritime injuries. Being an expert, maritime accidents are unlike those that happen on land. It is a whole different world out there in order to make sure that we will understand your case, we will bring in specialists, professionals, and experts to help us paint a more detailed picture of what happened. This might include former military personnel, engineers, or forensic specialists, mechanical experts, doctors, and marine safety experts. The more we understand the nuts and bolts of your case, the better prepared we will be able to fight for you. Negotiate and, if necessary, mediate. We will work to tirelessly to negotiate a fire, a fair settlement offer on your behalf. We will send to tow so with multinational corporations, insurance companies, employers, and at both parties. We will invest whatever time, money, and resources are necessary to do so. However, we will never take the side of a trial of the table. At Asami Brian White, personal injury lawyers, our legal team is well known for their success in the courtroom. The navigation of responsible parties don't cooperate, we won't hesitate. Hesitate to bring your case to a jury so that you have the opportunity to get the money you deserve. Leading causes of offshore and maritime accidents in Austin. Accidents on docks, in shipyards, and on vessels are uncommon in and around Houston. Many of these accidents are the result of defective machinery or equipment in a, in a difficulty hiring tech. Training and or supervising employers not following industry rules and regulations, not following company safety protocols, unsafe working conditions, inclement weather, distractions, drugs or alcohol, rushing or working to fast due to pressure from an employer, overworking and fatigue, and the last one is a lack of necessary, necessary safety equipment. There is a common thread here in negligence. Accidents, for the most part, should be avoidable. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching and bye bye.